Hey, Couture Babes, it's your girl, Brie Brett, going live with the Breeze Talk, and child, <laughs> y'all see me this best, star brim, girl, 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 you just got out of jail, mama, but let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts, and remember, opinions are not facts, I would like to shout out our paid for sponsors, Amazon, by shopping using my link down below pinned in the comments. You can shop it to your drop. And if you're a Prime member, you get next day shipping. Now let's get into the mess. So Star Brim did an interview with Tax Stone, which led him into getting into solitary confinement. He was talking about Noriega suck my, you know what? And child, it was it was good. I, I watched it all the way through. For those that don't know, Tax Stone is in prison because he did crimes and he was mad about God knows what. But baby boy, if you don't do the crime, you won't do the time. Let's get into what he's really mad Sometimes about. You gotta play the game. Like like you said, you said you can't be um you can't be uh, uh fake, you can't be phony. I don't think I could be fake or phony neither. Fake love, but but I can be cordial. You know what, what I'm saying? I don't have to love everybody you know what's I crazy? work with. Growing up in the hood, you're not taught to be cordial. So when did you learn that? Because you're not taught to be yeah, cordial. But, but but we ain't talking about the hood right now. We talking about our careers. But if you come in, but that's what I'm trying to say. That's what that's my yeah. point. Right. If you coming from the hood and all you got is this this way yeah, and this but mentality, we gotta be like, able when to you, know when you what's, learn what's, what's hood and what's your career. I know when how you, to be cordial now. Right. But I'm, I'm not going to be fake. I could be right. cordial. Who would have thought that... Noriega asking Troy F to come on Drinking Champs would cause so much chaos and confusion. Like, the girls are mad, literally. Let's get into this next clip. That's why I don't understand. And for Nori to be the type of nigga that he is, he's surrounded by, like I said, I don't know, I don't know Nori personally. Don't know. Nori can suck my dick. Hey, he tough. And that's how you, you better say that shit. Yes, he can suck my fucking dick. You go against Tax Stone, you can suck I, my dick. And that's Period. the same way I feel. Period. Like, suck my fucking my dick. Loyalty lies. <laughs> But at the Eat end of my day, ass crack, all that. With 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 hair. Eat the hairy ass crack of mine. Suck my toes when it smell like salt and vinegar. Fuck you, Noriega. I don't give a fuck. Like fuck you. <laughs> my adolo, nigga. Fuck y'all niggas, man. That niggas. Fuck y'all. You fake gang niggas, nigga. You stupid. I'm in L.A. right now. Pull up. Pull up. This is. I'm ready. I'm on it. I'm on it. Niggas think, niggas think there's something pussy over here. I'm going to show you. Pussy. Oh, I'm bringing them out. Niggas think, niggas, oh, oh, yeah, I'm bringing them out. All right, boss. All right, no more disrespect. I'm going to show, I'm going to show niggas. You see how clear my skin is? 42 years old, nigga drinking green juice. Still smack the shit out of motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Dolo. <laughs> Out here, Dolo. What up? I'ma show niggas. Stop fucking respect your mouth. I'ma show y'all niggas. Nigga don't want no beef or no chick. Tell you tell the homie step up. Fucking Come on, tell a homie step up. Nigga ain't beef with no chick. She probably really want to suck my dick. <laughs> Ugly bitch. You, didn't you get him in the box for that phone call? <coughs> didn't you ask him about his sex life in jail? You're not funny, girl. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Tell your homie step up. Please. Please. Man, everything Noriega said in that clip was factual, actual factuals, like a Snapple fact, honey. Let's get into it. So, Tax Stone does not like Troy F because Troy F testified against him in order for Troy F not to go to jail. You know, this whole snitching culture is such a mess and it's fake. And here's why. When it was beneficial for Nipsey Hussle's family, everybody was like, come snitch, come snitch, come snitch. But now that you're in prison, it's snitching is bad and X, Y, and Z and gangsta this and the hoopla hoopla. No, baby, I, I'm not here for none of that. None of it. The interview at the Drinking Champs was good. And for those who don't know, Noriega is a loose cannon. This is the man who shot up 
Junior Mafia while they were in the studio. Like, Homeboy is missing a couple screws. Anybody that grew up around the Rap City era, the Skeeters world, they know what I'm talking about when BET was BET. As for keeping it mute, Star Brim really doesn't know what she's getting into and her co-host Mouse are just a bunch of young groupie idiots. Like, they're feeding into this whole clickbait culture who really don't understand principles and values. Everybody loves to talk about snitching and what, 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 and the hooplas, but I'm not taking advice from a woman who was forced to drink toilet water, who was forced to be harassed and treated bad and unfairly. She still has a prison complex and I'm not here for none of it. A woman who couldn't even report the guards who were mistreating her could never give me any advice Mama, are you seeing a counselor for all that trauma you were going through? Do y'all even listen to Keeping It Beaut? Honestly. But anyway, these are my thoughts and opinions. Comment down below. And I gotta go. Bye, hoes. Hoes, man. Hoes, man. Hoes, man.